slide out in the stuff over there. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. <laughs> so today we're going to make a, a marble pump, which is, uh, I really like this kind of pump. Uh, it's uh, very simple to make and it's very, very cheap. Uh, and it's just a great way to make your own uh, water pump. Uh, we'll be making a small model, so a demonstration model today, but if you want, you could make it as long as you want. Okay, so this is all the stuff you really need. Uh, there's some PVC tubing of different sizes, a car tire, uh, some marbles and some glue, and you'll be needing some tooling as well, but you'll see that along the way. Okay, so first we're gonna do some measurements. And you don't really have to do this very precise, it's just so that you have a general idea of what you're cutting. Okay, so let's, uh, let's start sawing. Uh, you can do this with an iron saw, or any other saw as long as it's a uh, small T, it's very important. So these are all the parts you're going to need at this stage. And, and there's one uh, important part that's the, the smallest uh, pipe. Um, and you need to use, make one side really smooth. And I'll show you how to do that properly. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I have a piece of um, sandpaper and I'm just slowly applying very little pressure and moving it around until my part is nicely smooth. Okay, so next we're going to make this uh, rubber ring. Uh, we're making it from a car tire and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we're going to punch a small uh, circle from this car tire. And uh, normally car tires uh, have steel in the uh, inner circle and that's removed here already but the outside so this part that's pretty soft there's no steel lining in it so we can easily punch a, a, a hole from this oh, and I'm simply using a uh, sharpened uh, tube so this is uh, it's sharpened uh, at one end so that it is 22 millimeters uh, you could also use 23 but today we're using 22 so you might notice we're on the ground here the reason for that is uh, on the table you have a lot of uh, damping so you have to hit harder so always do this on the ground and I use a piece of plywood to protect the, the floor. So what we're going to do is just punch it hard one time or a few times uh, and then you should be finished. Okay and uh, please watch your wrist, wrist when you're doing it. Let's see if I can get it out. We have our small hole right here uh, and in the center to make it a ring we need uh, a hole in the center as well. And we're using a smaller die for this and uh, this is 16 millimeters. So what we do is we place it nicely in the center. You can get it out and then this is the ring you're going to be using. Okay, so now right now we, we punched it out but the edges are quite sharp. Uh, we need to make it nice and round, so for that I'll be using a scissor. So now it's time to put everything uh, together. Well, the first part actually. Uh, we're gonna do this with uh, PVC glue. Uh, this is really nice stuff. Uh, it actually melts the two uh, parts together, so it's really strong. Uh, but it is important to clean everything uh, beforehand. You don't need to sand it. You can, but it's not necessary. But cleaning is important. So I'm using spirit for this, uh, just a bit on a paper towel and cleaning it uh, thoroughly. This we only need to clean the inside. Okay, first step is to put on the ring in the center. And then these two will go in here like this. So this is what we're going for. Now let's glue. It's a PVC glue. You always apply the glue on two sides, on both surfaces. So we have some glue here and you can generously apply this. We also do it on the inside of these tubes and what you do is you shove it on and then let it go. Don't adjust it afterwards that will weaken the bond so just put it on and let go. So and this is your glue. 
um, it will have to set for a bit. Um, after 15 minutes, it's already a bit strong. Uh, so then you can do the next step. So now we're a bit further. The glue has dried a bit off, so just a few minutes. Uh, and we can uh, gently uh, attach the other parts to it. Now I'll clean the outside of these tubes. Now it is important, before you glue it, that you remember uh, which side of the, the smallest tube, you made one side really smooth, and you have to remember which side that was. On the uh, smooth side you put the big uh, tube, and on the side you didn't make smooth, you put the small tube. So that's important to remember. Okay, we'll glue it again. So first put it on the outsides here. So this was the smooth side of my uh, tube, so I'll put the large tube on top there. And the other side receives the smaller tube. Okay, so that's done for now. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, work on the rising main. Uh, the water will be going through this tube. Uh, so if you make uh, a longer version, so another demonstration model, this part will be as long as your well will be, for example. Okay, so we're make, gonna make a small cut, and we're not gonna cut, cut all the way through, but just halfway, and I'll show you all. Okay. Uh, and next we're gonna heat it with a lighter, and push this small part in. Okay, so now I'll heat this part, and uh, I keep the tube outside of the flame, so just above the flame, so that it will heat up, and then the plastic will become soft. You can move it around a bit. So now I move the plastic in, and be sure that the outsides of this tube don't come uh, to the side, so it stays a nice circle, only the indent moves inwards. If you burn your material, so then your flame became too close, uh, then you just saw it off and you start again. Okay, so next we're gonna assemble uh, our parts. We have this part we made before and we have the long, long rising main. Uh, and we have a marble, and you shouldn't forget the marble. It's a classic mistake that you forget to put the marble and then glue everything together. Once it's glued, you can't undo it anymore. So this is, remember this, it's very important. So um, we're gonna put this in here like this, but we don't want it to shut off completely. There needs to be a bit of play. So what I'm gonna do is I'm pulling it back just like a centimeter. And if you move it, you should be able to hear it rattle. Now, I'll mark this, but I know how far I have to push it in. We'll get it out and we'll glue it together. Okay? And make sure this is glued properly, because this will be uh, uh, loaded when you're pumping. And the inside. Put the marble in, don't forget the marble. And then you shove it in until the black line and leave it there. So now we have the inner part finished, uh, but this part will be sliding through the outer part. So these will be inside each other. Um, but the outer part also needs a, a valve, similar to the one we made here. Uh, and we're going to make that right now. This is a bit more tricky than uh, the other parts, because we need uh, this size to fit into this size, uh, but it is slightly too small. And um, we can actually solve this by heating it up and making it slightly larger. And I'll show you how to do it. So I have some spirit here. And I put it in this small can I have over here. This is just a uh, can of uh, tomatoes. Uh, you can use anything really. Uh, light is a bit too small, so you preferably have a bit of a bigger fire. Okay, so I keep this uh, just above the flame. It shouldn't burn, but it should become hot. You can see it's already becoming a bit softer. And I want to uh, make it large, at least 20 centimeters, uh, 20 millimeters. It should be nice and warm all around. Almost there. And be careful, it is hot. Okay, and now here comes the trick. I take another pipe and I put it inside, and this is quite a tricky process. As you can see, I'm just 
heat it up. And then you make sure that it's aligned so that you have a nice straight connection. And let it cool down a bit. Uh, if this doesn't work out, uh, don't worry, just get it off. Uh, and as long as the part isn't burnt, you can just redo it again. If you heat up the material, it will shrink back to its original size. Uh, and you can just start over again. So we're going to do the same trick we did previously, we're going to heat up this little part and push it in. Uh, same thing, keep it out of the flame. And I use a lighter for this because it's a bit more uh, precise. So you can really get the heat at the place you want it. So now we have several parts. We have this part we just made and we have two small tubes. Uh, and we're going to assemble it. I'll show you how to do it before I glue everything together. Again, we need a marble. Put it in before you put glue everything together. We have this small tube, which you can put in, and the even smaller tube. And this will go into the pipe here. Okay, uh, first of all, we're going to make this the smallest tube again. We're going to make it nice and smooth, like we did previously, and then we'll start gluing. Put in a marble, but please make sure you don't forget the marble. And again, we move it in so far that it doesn't clamp the mar marble, but it will uh, keep it in place. But you should, if you move it around, you should be able to hear it rattle. So don't push it in all the way. Smooth side is here. We have our inner tube, and we have our outer tube, and we have the valve that uh, goes into the outer tube. Uh, you may notice that it is difficult to get this in, and there are a few ways to solve this. Well, if it fits nicely, of course, you don't have to do anything. Uh, but if it doesn't, what you could do is heat up the end. Uh, you heat it up and then you shove this in. Uh, or you can send this down. Uh, what I'm going to do is heating this up. Okay, so now it fits, uh, but still we have to glue it in. So once it has cooled down, you can pull it out. At least try to pull it out. <laughs> there we go. And uh, we do the same thing again. So we clean it and put some glue on it. You want to glue the whole piece. So also, and uh, not only the indented part, but also the thick part that's over here. Again, this is one of the pieces that is likely to fill. So be sure to have enough area where you glue. almost done again. Um, we have two parts, we have our outer tube and our inner tube. Um, and the way this is going to work, the inner tube goes into the outer tube and you'll be moving it up and down. Well, you'll see that the inner tube is actually quite short. You'll be moving it, uh, you want to move it uh, down as far as you can, uh, but you don't really have any uh, leverage to hold on to now. So what we're going to do, we are going to shorten the outer tube so you can get a hold of the inner tube. 
and you'll need around well 15 centimeters so it's over here and I'll cut the outer tube to size now so now I shortened the pipe and if I put it all the way to the bottom, bottom we have a piece left in which we can hold on to pump um, but now there's still one problem it does function like this but if you keep uh, moving it up and down and every time you go down you hit this bottom part uh, at some point it will pop out so the, the bond will break so what we are going to do we are going to make a stop on this piece of the pipe uh, and we'll put some rings around this so that it can't go too far into the pipe We're going to move it all the way in and move it back just a few centimeters and then mark that. If you now carefully try, you see that the stop will actually um, bump against the pipe and that there won't be any damage at the back of the pump. So now the pump is, is fully finished. Um, you could try it out now, but the glue still has to set. After about 15 minutes, it will be, uh, will, will be hard enough to, to carefully try out. But if you really want to be sure, uh, just wait an hour or two hours or three hours. And then you'll sure that it's, it's nice and, uh, and strong. Um, yeah, one note. If you uh, can't get a hold of these sizes of uh, pipes, so the other diameters, um, that is quite possible and you could do it with other diameters. You just have to find a way um, where these sizes match up nicely so that they fit into each other. But that's totally up to you if you want to make it bigger or smaller. Uh, I say uh, we should uh, give this a try and see if it works. Out in the, in the stuff over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is like a demonstration model we made, but uh, in real life it looks like something uh, like this. So this just uh, takes water from the from the ground. Okay, so it worked, that's nice. Um, one note, if you uh, want to actually use this, this is a demonstration model, if you want to put it in a well, you should of course uh, make it longer. Uh, and that's not a problem, you just need to make the outer pipe and the inner pipe uh, as long as your well is deep. So this can be a few meters long and it will still work. So uh, I hope you have uh, fun with this. Thank you for watching. <laughs>